These AI tools have made DaVinci Resolve even more powerful than ever. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you eight DaVinci Resolve AI video editing features that will help you create better videos faster. Now, these are by no means the only AI tools in DaVinci Resolve. These are just the ones I think that everyone needs to know about. So in no particular order, number one is Magic Mask. So there's a couple of different ways that we can apply this. I've got a clip here in my timeline with this selected. We're gonna jump across to the Fusion page. Then we come up here to Effects and we can search in here for Magic Mask. Now, if we click and drag this down here, we then get to choose if we're gonna process this faster or for better quality. Faster, I find in a lot of cases will work fine, but if you do have something with a lot of detail, like close-ups of someone's face with a lot of hair or anything like that, then better will be what you're after. But we wanna grab this little eyedropper here with the plus. We wanna just draw out the area that we want to select. And you can see straight away, that's done a pretty good cutout. If there's any extra areas like down here, it's missed a little bit. We could draw that back in if we'd like. And then all we need to do is press this button here with the two arrows. And that's gonna then track this for our entire clip for us. So we can see now if we go back to our edit or cut page, we now have the background removed from this that we could then pick it up and replace the background blurred the background or whatever it is that we wanna do with it. So very fast, very simple, yet very powerful. The second one is AI transcribing. And this is where DaVinci Resolve will transcribe or write out anything that is said in your video files. This is gonna make it so much easier for you to edit because you can now then edit from that text. Now we can actually do this on a clip by clip basis, or we can actually do it on a timeline as well. So if you've got a bunch of clips already down in a sequence, then you can transcribe and edit from there too. I'm gonna to grab this first clip here. I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna come down here to auto transcription. And you can see we have the option here to transcribe. We also have the ability in here for speaker detection as well. So if you've got multiple presenters or speakers in here, then it will name them in that transcript. But I'm gonna choose transcribe. You can see it's then gonna go through and analyze our clip for us. Again, this is pretty quick. And then we'll get this pop up here over on our left, which is our transcript and everything that has been said in that clip. So we have the ability here to select some of this and we could then import it into our project or into our timeline from here. So we can just hit insert and that piece that we've selected is now inserted in here. But we also have the ability to do things like remove any gaps or silences as well. So if we come up here to the three little dots, we've got speaker detection, we've got remove silent portions as well. We can also import and export our subtitles too. But if I go remove silent portions here, then you can see it's gone through and it's actually cut these out here for us. So when we're bringing in these chunks of text or chunks of footage into our project is now going to skip or remove those gaps. So if I select these areas here now and I bring those in, you can see it's actually got those cuts there for us. Really, really powerful. Number three is voice isolation. This is another one I was totally blown away with the first time I saw it. This will help you remove any background noise from your videos or help you make your audio sound better. So we've got a clip here in our timeline. It does have a lot of background noise, a lot of wind. It's filmed at the beach. If I play through this now, you'll hear it. Guys, this is a test. There is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. We'll see how good this AI noise reduction is. So with the clip selected, we can then come over here to audio and we've got here a voice isolation. If we enable this, the default amount is 100%, but obviously we can dial this back if we'd like. I'm gonna leave this on 100% and let's just play this again. Guys, this is a test. There is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. We'll see how good this AI noise reduction is. Pretty amazing, it's taking it right out. There is some bits in there that aren't quite perfect, but it is much more usable than it was before. So in this case, I'd probably dial it back a little bit, maybe around 90% or 80%, just so there was a little bit of background noise, which is obviously gonna help remove some of those little glitches and things in there as well. But let's play this again now. This is a test. There is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. We'll see how good this AI noise reduction is. Yeah, something like that. It doesn't need to be perfect and super quiet in the background because it doesn't match the environment it was filmed in anyway, but it's done such a great job of lowering that background noise and enhancing what it is that I'm saying, making it a really usable clip now. 
The next one is Smart Reframe, another really powerful tool if you are, say, converting a widescreen video to something portrait for Instagram stories or TikTok, wherever it's going, and you want it to look good. This is gonna help you reframe your shots so that it matches the different format. So we'll use this same clip here in this timeline. I'm gonna switch it from a widescreen project over to a vertical one. So we can choose here vertical resolution and hit save. So you can see now the framing here, it's not great. So we could manually go through and reframe this or with the clip selected we can come over here to the video area we can come down here to smart reframe and then we've got two choices here we've got auto which is where I'd suggest that you leave it or if there is a specific point of reference that you'd like to track here and have it follow then you can do that as well we're going to leave this as auto and then I'm going to hit reframe so you can see it's gone ahead it's reframed it so my head is front and center I mean that's way too close. No one should ever be that close. But if we scrub through this now, we can see that it has reframed it for that entire shot. If I just undo this again, let's remove this entirely. This is what the raw footage looked like. So the framing here, not good at all. So it actually does an amazing job of automatically, in this case, recentering and reframing everything for us. AI feature number five is super scale. So this will help you enhance the quality or the resolution to essentially upscale your older, lower quality footage to a much better quality. Now for this, I have pulled a video file from 2009. It's crazy low resolution, 640 by 480. I've dropped it here into a 4K timeline. It's obviously scaled it up here. And if we just play this, it's really bad. So we're gonna have our work cut out for us here, but if we select this clip and we scroll over here on the video tab and we scroll down to super scale, we wanna enable that one. And you can see here that we have some options. There's two times enhanced, there's three, there's four. Obviously the more we add, the more processing it's going to need for that. We also have sharpness adjustment and noise reduction here too. So even just with this enabled now at two times, let's see if we can notice much of a difference. Now it's gonna be hard to see in the recording here as I turn this on and off. It is noticeably sharper and it is actually higher quality as well. Let's bump this up to four times. Sharpness to low and let's really reduce the noise. And now let's see what difference this has made. Yeah, again, I think it's gonna be hard to see come through in the screen recording, but it is so much better than if we turned this off Again, I'm not looking at the motion or the jitteriness, I'm looking at the actual quality here. And considering that we're bumping this up to 4K from how low it was before, it is so much better with this on. And then to obviously take this one step further now that we've increased the quality of it, this is where we could go in and we could take some of that shake out by turning on stabilization here. And maybe we will reduce this a little bit. Let's hit stabilize. And now let's give this a play. Again, I'm not sure how good that's coming through in the screen recording, but it is so much better than the original. And obviously this is an extreme example. If you've got something that's 720p footage, for example, you wanna bump it up or from 1080 to 4K, that's really where the power band of this is. But you can see, you can also get good results for something so low quality too. The next one, number six is Music Remixer. So I've got a timeline here and I've got an MP3 track on here. This one is from Epidemic Sound. With this track selected, we can then come over here to our audio panel down to Music Remixer. And in here, we can adjust things like the volume for the voice, for the drums, bass, other, guitar. And we have things to mute the voice, mute the drums, mute the bass. Really, really crazy that we're able to do this on the fly here. So if I just play this track here now. Okay, so now let's, for instance, let's grab the drums and let's just turn them right down. It's a big part of that track, no drums. Let's reset that one there. So we've got drums back to normal and let's mute the bass. Yeah, totally taking it out. Let's go the opposite. Let's mute voice. There is no voice in here. Let's mute drums. Let's mute other. Let's mute guitar and just leave the bass. 
So I just love that we're now able to do this so quickly, and this will allow you to take the music in your videos up to the next level by really allowing you to customize anything up here. And to me, it's just crazy how fast this stuff is. Well played, Resolve. The next one, number seven, is auto color grading. Now, color grading is something that Resolve is known for. Like this is the industry standard for this stuff, but there's now actually an automatic mode or an automatic feature for those of you who don't want to dive into all of that stuff, which is going to be a lot of people. And it does a really good job of setting an automatic adjustment for you, which then from there you could customize up further, or if you like the way it looks, you could leave it. So with our clip selected, we want to come down to the color panel here. And then we now have this little A button here in the corner. If we press on this, you can see it's analyzed our clip and it's made some adjustments here for us. So again, this is before and this is after. Before, after. So it has done a decent job for me. Probably it's got a bit too much blue in here, but again, that's personal preference and it is so much better than the original. Okay, another quick example here with this clip. Let's press the auto button. Let's see how it does. So again, that's the after. If we go to the before, after, not bad for an automatic adjustment. And number eight is relight. This will essentially let you relight your scene and change the lighting in your video. So there's a couple of different ways that we could apply this with our clip selected here. We could jump into the fusion tab and do it in there. We can also do it in the color page as well. So I'm gonna to jump to the color page and then we wanna come up to our effects area up here and let's just search for relight and let's drag this down here onto this line. We can then see that this has automatically created a depth map for us. So we've got this light now that we can pick up and we can move around. We can see how this interacts with the scene. This is the current light we've got selected, which is a point light. We also have a directional light and spotlight as well. And obviously we can move these around. We can customize up the strength, focus, all of that stuff with this. I'm gonna leave this here as point source. Let's bring this down a little bit. If we adjust this top, one here, we can adjust the intensity or brightness of it. Let's crank this right up and maybe I'll just move it over here for now. I'm then gonna untick this relight map preview here. And you might think that, all right, this hasn't really done much at this point, but this is also gonna apply now to any adjustments that we make. So let's just make adjustment here and let's just boost this up just so you can see the type of thing we're able to do with this. Now, when we come and grab this light here and move it around, you can see how this is affecting our shot here. Now, obviously we can go way more advanced with this. Right now, this light is also affecting the background. We could do a background separation and just apply this to ourselves here in this case, or maybe we want to relight the background. I love that we've got the ability to easily do this. And again, I'm just touching the tip of the iceberg with what's possible with this. So those are eight amazing AI features inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now I've got three things for you. The first one linked on screen is our video all around AI video editing tools. So it's the top tools that we recommend right now. The second one is linked on screen as well and in the description box below. And this is our DaVinci Resolve course. So if you're looking to get up to speed fast with DaVinci Resolve, then we have a beginner to YouTuber course. Again, links on screen in the description. And the third one is if you're looking to level up your video editing and you're looking for the most efficient process for that, we also have a free PDF download that you can download, print off and use when you're editing your videos so that you know that you're using the most efficient process. I will see you in the next video.